7 Action News this morning starts right now. Breaking overnight, tsunami warning in effect. Japan hit by powerful earthquakes triggering the threat of massive waves. Why concern extends far beyond damage from the water. New year, new gun laws. The new laws that could impact gun owners here in Michigan. Plus, ready for the Rose Bowl. The Michigan Wolverines preparing to take on the Alabama Crimson Tide in the college football playoffs. What the team is saying about their preparation for today's big game. And there you go. Happy New Year 2024. And thank you so much for starting your 2024 with us. Hopefully you had a great time out celebrating the final moments of 2023 and kicking off the new year in style. Today's January 1st, 2024. Welcome to 7 Action News This Morning. I'm Keenan Smith. And I'm Allie Hoxie. Alicia is off today. Of course, it's an exciting start to the new year, 2024, new beginnings. Also, a new forecast starting to feel a little bit like winter out there. That's right. Uh, new year is often a reset for us, and maybe it's going to be a reset for Mother Nature. Let's check in with 7 First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor to see what's in store. Yeah, that's right. We're making this... 2024 transition with more of a winter feel. The close out to 2023 was above average. I mean, we had the third warmest December of all time, or at least since we've been keeping records since 1874, and it was the least snowiest. But now we're going to kick it up a notch. At least we'll see what January has in store for us. For the moment, numbers are getting back to where they belong, and we also have the clouds, one of our cloudiest months, and it's getting started right on cue here. Uh, numbers at 30 degrees in Howell, we're at 30 in Lapeer, and 33 in Detroit as well. So our numbers with the radar, you can see the clouds are still out there. Some flurries will be a possibility. The roads are actually still wet in some spots, so we'll have to watch these numbers. If it's below freezing, just be aware there could be some slick spots out there across the area. So 31 in Pontiac and Lapeer. We're at 35 in Port Huron, 36 in the city. Those flurries will be passing through. Coming up, we'll talk about some changes. We warm up, but then another storm we're tracking this weekend. We do have a couple crashes out there this morning, including at Southfield Freeway and Grand River Avenue. So this was a little bit closer to McNichols. At one point, the freeway was closed. Now we only have the right lane closed. It's not slowing down traffic too much. Looking at our maps, still moving 58 miles an hour in that spot. Southfield Road does run parallel to this area if you'd like to avoid that spot. Northbound I-75 after Grand River, the two left lanes are closed, two lanes open. Again, not seeing any significant slowdown on this holiday. All right, thank you so much, Allie. 